<clears throat> Good day, folks. This is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. I'm enjoying watching my dung beetles this morning. These are the dwellers. I've seen six on that one manure pile. And uh, they live on the manure slurpee. And we got an inch and a quarter rain last night on top of these manure piles. That's why they look so runny. But yesterday, without the rain, um, Look at that, there's four. One, two, three, four, five. There's five of them. Those little guys. And they got wings. They fly. They fly from one pile to the next. Pretty cool. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you. There's another one over here. He's booking around on top. Oh. Came into a pond there. Yeah, I like seeing the dung beetles. Um, we don't pour Ivermeth on our cattle for wormer. Uh, and you can see a little spider there. Look at that. Can you see? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is, right there by that piece of grass. See the little. Oh, there, there he went. You see that one take off flying? Oh, there's another one. They're just having a great time. There's a little spider or something, a nymph. You see his antennas right, right there, see? Oh, he took off. I got too close to him. See, they aerate, that dung beetle just went in that hole right there. They aerate the, the manure pats. And if you get enough of them in there, they actually remove all the water and you don't have uh, fly larvae hatching because the flies lay their eggs in there and the, the larvae dries out before it has a chance to hatch. So if you're ivermectin and pouring all this wormer crap all over your cows, you're going to kill these dung beetles. You're not going to have any of them. Uh, the other thing I wanted to show, folks, is if you look on top of these manure pads, you see all those little white... Uh, almost yellow little spots all over that. That's all clover seed. Oh, there he went. <laughs> he took off. Um, it's all this clover seed. All these little spots right there, those are all clover seeds. And every manure patch is full of them. Uh, here's one. Oh, there's another duck beetle. I love those darn things. I'm gonna probably disrupt a few in here, but see all that see all that seed? I'm gonna take my foot and open it up. And you can see that the specks in there, that's all clover. It's all clover seed. So you think about that. There's hundreds and hundreds of piles being dropped out here, and they've all got clover seed in them. Now here's a fresh one that didn't get rained on yet this morning. There you go. Man, look at that. You see what the darn flies are doing? They're laying eggs in there. But there's also dung beetles. There's one. They're all in there. Oh, there goes another one. There's one, two, three. There's four. All these holes you see in the top, there's another one. Coming right toward my finger. Folks, that's a perfect pile of dung. Look at them all. It's hard to uh, eliminate flies, but with dung beetles, um, if you can dry out the manure, which is hard to do with you know, the rain that we've been having, that's why you always get more flies in rainy season because the flies are able to hatch better because the manure pants stay wet. And in droughty years where you don't have much rain, the fly load will go down. Again, you see all the see all the clover seeds in there. And so they're in this nice, perfectly medium to grow a plant. You've got fertilizer, you got moisture, and it'll sprout. And so it's not a bad thing. It's actually a good thing. That, that manure pat, folks, is just right. It's about an inch and a half tall. It's got a little swirl here in the middle. 
um, that would have been the dimple. That last plop would have landed right there. You'd have had the pond in the middle. But it's not runny at all. And I'm not going to take my foot and open that one up because there's all kinds of dung beetles in there. I don't want to mess up their home. I'm going to leave them alone. But uh, what I'm doing up here, folks, is I, I saw from the road that the steer stayed right here last night during that rainstorm. I mean, it thundered and pounded. And uh, it got with it. And this morning we had a, just a, a little over an inch, about an inch and an eighth. Yesterday we had three inches. So we've had over four inches of rain in the last, you might say, 24 hours. It's wet. I'm liking it. For July, I'll take wet any day of the week. So what I'm doing, I'm just hooking up here with this wire. Got my reel. And I'm going to bring it around this edge of this little patch here. I don't like that. And I, I advise you all not to like that. Get used to seeing spots like this. It doesn't take you five minutes to run a wire around it. Folks, I'm gonna be on this paddock for another, let's see, one, two, three, four, five more days. And if it continues to rain, which we're supposed to get some more rain, and they continue to hang out right in here, seems like they kind of like this spot, you will have a mud pit. It'll look like a feedlot right here. And it's right next to the driveway coming into this farm. Not what you want to do. So I'm just going to put this wire around it and uh, it'll be problem solved. Yeah. So I wanted to announce I did get a wireless mic. <laughs> Actually, it was given to me at the grading school. One little problem with it. I can't plug it in. To my phone it's got a receiver that plugs into the end of my phone and it won't plug in with this phone protector on it i've got a i've got this protector so i drop this thing in water i drop it on concrete or rock i don't shatter my screen it won't plug in so i might take a sheetrock knife and trim away the end here where i can actually get the jack in and then we'll just see how it goes but i've got it, this package came with two wireless mics. It's got the little feathers on it. and Yeah, I won't have to listen to people. <laughs> like this morning, I know it's, it's the wind's blowing out here. I mean, it's real life. Wind blows, and Greg's out there taping in the wind, and I get a few people hating on me for that, and how dare I do that and all that stuff. But, you know, this is a farm. It's a working farm. It's not a laboratory. It, it is not a studio. It's real life. It's me, the livestock, the land, the wind, the rain, the snow. It's just what way it is. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a good one. Hope to see some of y'all at the Powerflex uh, retail opening. That's in Seymour, Missouri. That's uh, July 12th and 13th. I'll be down there giving a few talks. Free prizes, 20% off everything in the store if you walk in. And it's going to be a good time. Hope to see some of y'all there. Take care.